Hi, and today I'm showing you another load of tools out of the Deox C mixture. This is the original mixture. Um, it's done about 120 tools now. I just leave them in for a little bit longer. I'll leave them in for a couple of days at a time. So I should just empty this out and you can see what's in here. The only difference I'm finding is there's a white sludge when you get near the bottom. And the sludge is getting thicker and thicker as the amount of tools that go through it. But it wipes off the same as everything else. It's still working fine. So I find all that's required when it comes out of the deoxy is just to give it a wipe dry. I don't neutralize it with water or anything. It doesn't say that in the instructions. So I just give them a wipe dry. Make a nice pile. The harder to dry things... Um, I just clean up last and let them, I wipe them and then let them dry naturally while I'm cleaning everything else. This F wrench is a nice example. I'll be cleaning this up as we go through the process and showing you it at the end. Nearly everything today is on fast forward because no one wants to see 30 to 40 tools really, do they? Remarkably, I'm only spending between 30 seconds and each tool. They are absolutely flying through. I'll get them all clean in 20 minutes. Which, I mean, it's an hour normally you're talking without this stuff. Fantastic. So we just build up the pile here. I wish it was this quick in real life. Today for a chat, giving a shout out to a very well-known channel, although some of you might not have found him yet, Paul Sellers. Anything that he would work in, he's fantastic. This is the place to go to to get knowledge. Loads of videos, loads of information. Fantastic channel. Paul's got um, over 300 videos on his channel. He will restore tools, planes. He will restore planes better than you have ever seen in your life. Fantastic. Shows us how to make things. Shows us how to DIY make things. Uh, absolutely brilliant. There's just too many videos to mention. Pop over there. There'll be a link underneath. Um, and check him out. So part of the fun of cleaning stuff up is actually finding out what you got after. So that's a Ford at Dagnum one. Super slim, this one. Austin, the old car manufacturer. This one's a Billings and Spencer. Another super slim. And a Bedford. super slim and a Laura that needs straightening a Bedford and a pair of um, footprint nips world's oldest spanner this is uh, from the dinosaur times I think anyone can see that so now if you remember that F wrench at the start they had the lever at the bottom We'll move on to looking at that bit more in depth. This is what it looked like to start with. So we'll start by having a look at the jaws. They've been very mangled and chewed up. Look, they're going to need knocking round. The top's been banged over. This one's really been abused. The jaws, oh, look at the wobble in them. Okay, now there's more banging and pitting to here. We're going to have damage on, on the slide. Damage on the back of it. Damage down the bottom. Everywhere. Uh, maybe this got caught in someone's wheel and was dragged about 100 I don't know. This is very um, knocked about, this one. Right, well, we'll see what we can do anyway. First thing, get the pin out. No, first thing... Pins frozen. Can you use this new manual stuff? Give it a spray. It really is good. This sits for about a minute. A minute after I've sprayed it. So I'll give it a good few squirts. Leave it a minute. Amazingly, it's only a minute. Start rocking that screwdriver backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. And miracle among miracles, it starts going round. But that's all it does. It just starts going round. It doesn't come out. 
a lot of tapping on the workbench and tapping it on the anvil, new anvil, and eventually I'll get it out enough to get a pair of mole grips on it and pull it out. Bit of light angle grinder action now, just to take those um, knocks and things out of the slide, or as many as possible. It really is just a quick light pass with the angle grinder. Don't want to push too hard to do too much damage to this. Over to the fibre wheel now. Just get a light rub against the fibre wheel. It's starting to come up lovely and shiny. And onto the polisher. Nice bit of polishing with the black. And then give it a buff. So now it's time to uh, look again at what it looked like before. Mangled up top jaw and bottom jaw. Weren't too good looking. And what it looks like now. Okay, so it's uh, nice and shiny all over now. Got rid of virtually all the pitting. And the jaws, the jaws are nice and straight again. There's a little ding here and there that you can hardly see. But it's straight and they close and they touch together. There's a tiny little mark there. But there we are. It's nice smooth, smooth all round. Lovely. Got rid of this here where it was dented. That's all smooth now. And it's made by Foreign. Good German brand. It's nice and heavy and it feels good in the hand. Well, that's it. Don't forget to look down in the description for a link to um, the other chat. And bye for now.